<clears throat> Dad loved to uh, uh, participate in the church services at Bethesda, where he was a member uh, from his youth all the way to the time that he passed. And he was a, f a founder of Bethesda, in fact, uh, along with his father and a number of other people that set up the church first on uh, 49 William Street, and then later they bought the building on Broad and Delaware. And uh, this is the picture of the Broad and Delaware church. In the next slide, he uh, is shown um, participating or uh, greeting people at the door um, of the church as they came in. Next is uh, the uh, Bible that he loves to preach from and study. Next is a picture of him when he was a young man. And in the next uh, picture, it shows uh, him praying for people that were sick or had other uh, concerns that he wanted to uh, pray for them. Um, and he did this also in the hospitals. He went around to hospitals where there was members of the church that were sick, and he prayed with them. And this this was the next picture. It shows him uh, with uh, practicing his sermon, maybe. And in the next one, it's just a picture of him uh, when when he was um, in his, probably his 40s. And he w was a regular um, supporter of the missions overseas. And the church had a number of missions that they supported. And one of them was in Korea. And he went with Brother Billy, which was the pastor of the church. The, uh, and he loved to go to visit other countries. Uh, and... The, in the next picture, it shows some uh, farm animals, some rabbits that they may have purchased uh, to give to the uh, parishioners of the mission there in Korea. The next slide shows some picture of the, some of the people from the mission in Korea. <clears throat> Later, he went with uh, the younger brother, Billy, uh, the past, uh, the, the, the succeeder of uh, Reverend uh, Billy, um, to Haiti, and this is uh, some picture of some of the people that were at the Haiti mission, and these were some of the people from Bethesda that went to the church, uh, or the mission in in Haiti. Later, uh, when I retired and I moved to Cebu, Philippines, he came to visit me, and uh, we went to a small church nearby, Assemblies of God Church. And he uh, was invited to give a uh, sermon there, which he enjoyed very much. And I have a separate video on that uh, that uh, may have a link uh, on on here uh, on the YouTube video channel that uh, can show more of his actual speech. And, and this is a picture of his wife and my mom. And uh, I'm his son, Neil Eden, and I'm doing the recording and, and doing getting this ready for her, uh, this short sermon that he gave. I When I uh, moved overseas, I didn't take very many of his tapes with me, and so I didn't have any of his full sermons. So this, this is just a short excerpt from one of his sermons, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. It's the fourth chapter, commencing at the first verse. Peter and John were about the master's business. And because they were doing what God had called them to do, they were arrested and threatened. And as they spake unto the crowd, the priests, the people, and the, the captain of the temple, the Sadducees came upon them. These Sadducees were religious people, so-called, they had a form of religion, and they didn't want anyone else to deviate from their doctrine. Being grieved, the second verse says, that they taught the people and preached that through Jesus, the resurrection from the dead, which they did not believe in, and they laid hands on Peter and John. And they put them in a hole until the next day, for it was now the eventide. Howbeit many of them 
which heard what Peter and John had said, believed. And the number of the men was about 5,000. You tell me that people don't love the truth. People don't love the power of God. People don't want to hear what God has to say today. There are a people in this world that want to hear what God...